In this video, we will analyze products and categories by using GA4 and Google Ads custom reports. You know, Google Ads, especially performance box campaign, is kind of a black box. You spend some money and you don't actually know what's going on. Then they report your conversions back. Hopefully you get happy with the results, but you actually don't know what's going on, right? If I ask you a couple of questions, for example, what are the top five products that you spend the most money on? Do you know the answer clearly? I ask this question from time to time to the merchants and none of them knows the answer. And more importantly, do you know which products are the most profitable? You know, you know, but you know from your own standpoint. You don't know from data standpoint. Now what, that's what we will do. We will simply open GA4. We will see the GA4 report. Which products receive the most clicks and how much revenue they bring? Are they profitable? We will do the same within Google Ads. I think you should do this now with me together and then you should learn how to do this obviously while we are doing it and then you should save these reports and from check from time to time because it's always like that. Some products, some collections, some landing pages in the next lesson we will talk about landing pages are more profitable and some not. So we want to do that. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's get into GA4 account where we will analyze the product level performance. So when I am on the uh, GA4 account, I need to go into monetization and then e-commerce purchases. In the e-commerce purchases report, we see the item name, product name, obviously, as default report. And then we could change it to item category and obviously to item brands, item ID and so on. Let's start with the item name. So now, as you can see, this is just normal item performance report, right? This is normal item performance report. So this includes paid traffic, organic traffic, direct traffic, email marketing, and everything. Now we will filter only PPC. How we will do that? We will just go at the top, click add comparison, include, and then we will say source and medium. You could choose first user source and medium or session source and medium. For now, I will choose first user source and medium. If you don't know the difference and if you want to learn about it, I have another video in which I explain GA4 e-commerce reports. I will, link some, I will link it somewhere around here so that you can learn more about it. Now let's click first user source and medium and then let's choose Google CPC. Okay, apply. Now it will show the same report, but the comparison, all users and the CPC users. Now I will simply delete all users. Now I only see first user medium includes Google CPC. What does it mean? It means people who firstly came from Google Ads, which is pretty good actually to see what's going on with those people. As you can see here, items viewed, added to cart, purchased, and then item revenue. This is Google's demo account, so the numbers here maybe don't make much sense because this is not a real store. Uh, but I'm sure in your own store you are seeing more meaningful stuff. And obviously you know your products, you know what you are advertising to. It might make more sense. Simply, obviously, what we are looking for is the profit here, right? So what we are looking is that how many clicks do we receive and then how many sales we get? How many of them added to cart? How many of them purchased? If you are seeing something that bothers you here, for instance, if this, were, if this data was real, let's do it more wide actually. I would never recommend to check like last week or yesterday. You always choose wider period because from day to day things change. And now as you can see, for instance, um, this one received only one sales, but the other one received 15 sales and they almost received a similar amount of clicks. And the revenue is pretty much uh, different as well. So as you can see here, that the third product is obviously more successful than the fourth product. I am sure in your examples, you maybe even see some zeros, right? You, you, you paid maybe 500 clicks and then there is zero revenue. Sometimes some product makes sense and some doesn't. So this is really important like to check item level performance with PPC filter. Do this quite often. Not only item, but also category. If you are not seeing this category reports or uh, any reports missing here, that means your GA4 integration is not done properly. You should check our GA4 integration troubleshooting video series and you should troubleshoot your GA4 integration. Alternatively, if you are a Shopify merchant, you can use Analyzify our product for an accurate, reliable, data analytics setup, then obviously your data analytics setup will be 
executed by our software and by professionals and if you have any problems you can always contact our expert support and we will help you with that. Now let's go back to category level performance and again the same thing here for instance drinkware category. 5000 Viva items, 50 add to cart, 2 purchase, super low revenue. Why did we pay 5000 clicks here while apparel category made a lot of revenue for the same amount of clicks? So if you are seeing this kind of things, don't take immediate actions, just take notes, right? Okay, this collection seem bad. Take screenshots of the reports, save the reports, share it with your team, share it with your agency, because one report shouldn't make any decision, right? You need to support it with the other things, but it is a good place to start. It's a good place to investigate. So this is how we do product and category level performance check within GA4. We just apply a filter, PPC filter. By the way, you can apply the same filter for Facebook ads too. Just of course, Facebook ads accuracy will be a little bit worse than uh, Google ads accuracy because obviously Google ads and Google analytics are both Google products. So they are integrated quite well. Uh, with Facebook, you will see more discrepancy, but still it might give you an idea. It might tell you something which you haven't thought of before. This is just product and category within GA4. In the next video, we will do landing page level report, which is even more important than this one, in my opinion. So make sure to watch that one too. Now we will do the similar report, product level performance report within Google Ads. So let's just jump into Google Ads now. So now let's go to Google Ads and let's analyze products within Google Ads reports. When we are in Google Ads, just search at the top. I always like to use this search because it gives flexibility and it's a good habit. You know, it makes you quite fast by the time and you reach wherever, whichever report you want to reach quite fast. Just search product and then come to products. Once you are in the products, your products will be listed, right? And they will be listed by default. Usually it's last seven days. Let's make it more probably like last, uh, I don't know, let's do last 30 days and then by default, it will not show you so many metrics. We want to add more columns here. We want to uh, have more numbers here so that we make more meaningful analysis. Obviously, in the left hand side, there is the product name. There is the product SKU. And here now we have the campaign active, how much the price is, the clicks, etc, etc. These three metrics probably you are not seeing because I just added them. But I will also show you how you can add. And now we will add even more metrics. Click columns and then click here custom. Maybe custom will not be visible to you because I already made it. So you will just probably need to click columns. Just click the conversions. Let's activate them all, right? Let's see how uh, maybe some of them will be meaningful. Maybe some of them won't be, obviously, but um, I think this is pretty important and useful. So I like to activate all the conversion numbers and their revenue and their average order value. According to the business type, according to analyst, or according to person, these things change, right? Somebody wants to check, for example, when I apply here, we have some team members who like to analyze only conversion value per click metric or only conversion value metric or only revenue metric. This really depends from expert to expert or from person to person, which metric we want to follow. Now I want to show you all of them so that you choose your own. Uh, but what I care more is the cost. Let's order by cost because, okay, I paid to this product 1.4k, 1.3k, 1.1k and so on. So this is the first 10 product that I paid. And what happened? What I got out of it? Conversion value per cost. Oh my God, 0.22. It seems that I lost a lot of money from here because it only brought to me, because it only brought 0.5 conversions. What does 0.5 conversion mean? I have a long video explaining that, guess what? But let me quickly explain. This is just the attribution. This purchase probably attributed half to Google Ads and half to maybe organic, Facebook Ads, something like that. So Google Ads attribution sometimes attributes uh, this with by decimals like 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.98, 0 0.65 and so on. And of course we trust this metric. I mean, otherwise what, but we cannot do anything else. So as you can see, we paid 1.4K to one product and the, it is only 0 0.5. Depending on the business, maybe they are okay with this. Maybe they are uh, happy with this. Who knows? But you know your own. So you check your number and you make your decision. 
What I want to check more is obviously conversion rate, super low. Value per conversion, and this didn't record the revenue, so it's empty, but you can see here there is also average order revenue. What you want to do here is understand. We are not here to make decisions yet, we just want to understand which products are doing so well and which products are not doing so well. Of course, if you have hundreds of products, you cannot just check one by one and decide all of them, but at least top 10 spent. Just check one by one and I try to understand. And then you could make decisions. For example, let's think some scenario. We spent 1400 uh, to this product. We couldn't get, you see how low conversion values. What if we spend that money to this product or to this product or to this product, right? So here we spent $600, but we got $9,000 conversion value with order average order value 950 USD. This seems quite profitable. Is this business aware of this? Not sure, but you should be. So these things are so important and product level performance is an important metric, that's for sure. You need to check this, you need to understand this and Google Ads gives you already all of this. But once again, for all of this to work, you need to have a solid data analytics setup. If your conversions are not tracked properly, then these numbers will be wrong, obviously. And even more importantly, Google Ads will be fed by wrong data. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that your Google Ads conversion tracking is working perfectly fine, dynamic remarketing is perfectly fine, and so on. In the first video of our uh, data first Google Ads optimization course, we did this double check very quickly. And then I have a long course about this topic like conversion tracking on Shopify. You should check those, uh, but this is how you do. Again, take notes, try to understand what we did. We checked the product level performance data here, and then we did the same check in GA4. Now we know some things. Now there are some question marks in our head, right? Okay, why do we spend this much to this product? Does it make sense? Maybe this is an important product, and you keep on spending, it's okay, keep spending, but be aware, you know, you should know what you are spending to, and you should know if it's not profitable. You might want to keep it, it's, it's okay, but you should know and then make an informed decision about it. Ideally, in the section two of our course, we will be talking about this. Let me come to that, optimize. I will give you like strict tips and tricks what you do with this information. Okay, there are winning products, so what we should do about them? Yeah, you need to create maybe a new campaign of winning products and so on. I will not enter to that much now. We are in the section one, analyze. We are trying to analyze and understand. So that's my goal here. I hope it was useful. Now you know which products our collections are doing well with the PPC performance. So I hope we are doing fine. I hope I'm not too fast and I hope you are following with me and getting the insights you need to get. Make sure to sign up for the full course so that we can let you know once we release new episodes, new lessons, and kindly contribute, communicate. Let us know if you find something useful. Let us know if this was, if this didn't work for you, if you couldn't find something meaningful. And more importantly, let us know what kind of data you want to find. We can help you. We can just, you know, create more videos about it, maybe content about it. Maybe we can put a report within Analyzify about it. We would love to hear from you. So comment on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, connect us on LinkedIn and follow our hub. We share quite useful blog posts there, some tips and tricks about data analytics insights, ads performance and so on. Sign up for our newsletter there. Looking forward to see you in the next video. If you just came across this video and if you didn't watch the previous videos of our course, Please do that. I, we prepare the course as a whole. So the first lesson, second lesson, third lesson, all of them are important. So see you in the next video.